Now this is a very important engine. It wasn't originally a Bristol engine. It was built by Cosmos Engineering, based in Fishponds in Bristol. Cosmos Engineering went bankrupt due to, in part, the Russian Revolution. They'd sold a number of engines to pre-revolutionary Russia, and when the Bolsheviks took over, they didn't fancy paying the bill. And so Cosmos Engineering went bankrupt. The British and Colonial Aeroplane Company were also in financial difficulties at that time, post-World War I. They renamed the company and transferred all the assets and became the Bristol Aeroplane Company. The government asked them whether they'd fancy buying Cosmos Aero Engine Department and the fantastic team that worked together to build these very reliable engines. Indeed, this was known as the reliable radial, the Jupiter. It's a nine-cylinder engine, fairly standard, although it does have four valves per cylinder. But what made it special was the fine engineering, its reliability and its durability. So Bristol eventually bought Cosmos Engineering and all the engineers came along with the new aero engine department. Roy Fedden and his team of engineers joined the new Bristol Aeroplane Company and two thirds of the company, roughly, were devoted now to Bristol Aero engines. Bristol was known for its engines, but now it could build airframes and engines together and build special engines for the airframes or special airframes for the engines. So Roy Fedden and Frank Barnwell worked closely together as two excellent engineers. This engine was produced by, was this engine, almost 10,000 of them were produced all over the world. They were licensed for production in many different countries. For example, in Italy, Alfa Romeo produced them under license. In Japan, Nakajima. In Germany, Siemens. Also, the Czech Republic, Russia, which fits off. So all these countries producing the Jupiter under license set up some of their own engine companies, but also it shows the reliability and the uh, love for the engine. This does have an unfortunate side. It means in World War II, pretty much every major player in World War II was using some form of the Bristol Jupiter being produced in their own country. So you might well have Bristol engines fighting Bristol engines. Sometimes, such as in the Finnish war, Bristol aircraft flying, fighting Bristol aircraft, because Russia and Finland were both supplied with Bristol aircraft. So this is the beginning of Bristol's aero engines, and there were many more variations produced from this, and as it became more advanced and more powerful, a diesel version was called the Phoenix, rising from the ashes. But there are many more here you can see, and when we're back open again, do come in and have a look. <laughs>